Hey y'all, this is Olive Destiny, and in this video, I will be sharing with you all this before and after hair transformation on my cousin. So, her hair was already shampooed and conditioned prior to filming this video. I'm starting off by taking some of the Sulfur 8 Light Moisturizer and working that all throughout her hair. After that, I'm going to follow up with the Ozzy Leave-In Conditioner, and then I'm just going to comb that through with a shower comb before I proceed to blow dry her hair. I'm using the Warm Setting and the High Speed. So the way that my cousin has her hair is in like a mohawk and so it's longer in the top portion and then it's shorter on the sides. Uh, I'm not sure if she's attempted to grow that out or if she's going to maintain that. I'm not sure. If I ask her by the time I upload this video, it'll be in the description box down below. So I pretty much just part my cousin's hair and I do two braids down the middle um, since the part on the sides is a little shorter. I was going to attempt to braid that side since it's like, mm, Destiny, you're filming. But then I was like, no, because when I wasn't filming and I did apply her wig three times off camera, I was like, nope because we didn't do that off camera so I'm not about to do it on camera either girl so I'm just going to moisturize the sides and slick that back with the even 24 hour edge timer if you have short hair then I would just imagine that you kind of just slick your hair back like it's quick to throw a wig on because you don't even have to do a lot of braids <laughs> so those are the black 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 we're doing one voiceover let's roll with it so those are the two braids and then I'm just slicking back the other side as well so this video is sponsored by Premier Lace Wigs uh, you can use discount code DESTINY for $10 off. The link to the wig will be in my description box down below. There are adjustable straps on the back and combs sewn down inside. A Premier Lace Wigs also sends you the elastic band, which you all see that I have sewn onto the wig. And I also like to use those adjustable straps just for extra added security. The hair type is Indian Remy hair, 12 inches. The color is natural number 30 ombre. The style is a side part, yaki straight. And then it's a... 160% thick density, blah, 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 <laughs> my bad. All the um, details that I just mentioned and a few others will be in the description box down below. So I pretty much just have my cousin to hold the front portion of the wig and I like to pull the elastic band back first and place that kind of on the nape of the neck. Then I gather and pull the rest of the wig back and I use that back comb that I showed you all to tuck that underneath the elastic band and then I just proceed to adjust everything and make sure that it's comfortable to my cousin's liking make sure everything is nice and secure I use those side combs to tuck underneath both sides on the left and right um, portions of the wig it just helps to keep it from sliding back if you don't want to glue it down and at this point I'm asking my cousin how it feels if everything feels all right if it's not too tight all of that good stuff you know because I won't be with her for the week and a half that she will most likely wear this wig so I want to make sure that everything is good to go for her once she you know leaves from being here getting her wig put on all right, so now we're just going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm going to apply some of the got to be glue gel to the front portion. Um, I'm not going to apply this all over, just kind of in this front portion right here. And then I'm spraying that with the got to be free spray. And then I'm just going to blow dry that on the cool setting. So I'm kind of holding down the cold shot on my blow dryer. Uh, if you're wondering about the little yellow thing, in the past video, I kind of explained that. I like the nozzle attachment. It doesn't go with the, this blow dryer that I'm using. So I had to, you know, just make it work, make it do what it does. And I don't take it off because I don't want to keep taping it back on. <laughs> All right. So once the uh, got to be glue gel is kind of like, it's almost tacky, kind of like applying lashes. That's when you begin to press it down. And I'm using that other side of the comb to kind of like press down into the lace, really. I like the little metal portion for that. And you just kind of press it down a little bit blow dry some more and then I just kind of comb at the same time to make sure I'm not sticking the hair into the got to be glue gel and then I'm just going to uh, seal down that one little portion on the other side uh, if you all saw the video when I did the jet black bob you can definitely skip and bypass doing the whole got to be glued thing because the wig was very secure without that but like I said my cousin is going to keep this wig on I kind of didn't glue mine down since I was you know taking it off each night but just for the security of someone else not having to work with their hair every day this was the myth that I chose to go with for my cousin so I'm just securing everything blow drying it on cool until everything is nice and dry and it's like on point like lay like slay like what I say don't play like stay out the way okay okay <laughs> so let's keep it going um, I'm going to section out a portion on the side and I'm just going to kind of use the comb and kind of break through that and separate it even further and then I'm just going to trim it that with the razor and this is how we're going to make the baby edges I'm going to apply some of the even 24 hour edge timer and I take some lighted body on top of my double ended 
uh, edge brush and comb and then I began to work and lay and slay the edges. I kind of do like this little swoopy motion. You can see that it's only like a small amount of my cousin's hair that was left out. I don't know, like it wasn't, I don't know. I don't think it's like a, I don't think this one is like a full on frontal because it didn't come like all the way ear to ear, if that makes sense. So yeah, the parting space is majority in that center middle portion, but I'll put the dimensions and all of that down in the description box. So I'm going to section out on the other side as well. You can see that I'm not pulling out the entire front portion. We don't need that much for the edges, just kind of like a piece here and there. And then I'm just going to take some, um, mascara just to blend that because at first when I first got this wig when I tried it on I was like no this doesn't go with my skin complexion so then my sister boom she went ahead and bleached the knots but she kind of over bleached them uh because she thought she was going to wear the wig but I was like nah it doesn't go with your skin complexion either and so uh by her over bleaching it the way to correct that really quickly was just taking this mascara uh you don't have to go all throughout the entire wig I would just suggest maybe if you over bleach your knots wherever your parting is and then that front perimeter section I will fix that and then maybe when you move your part put mascara in the place where you like move your part to. So I'm proceeding to lay her edges on the opposite side of the parting space and this wig it does come pre-plucked with a natural hairline and also with baby hairs around the perimeter. I didn't really take my time to separate out the hair when you all saw me doing that parting space so you may have missed the baby hairs uh, but even when they do come on wigs like this I kind of always make them shorter because they come like short maybe like two to three inches to where you know where they are but I always feel the need to make them a little bit shorter. Uh, I really didn't have to do much plucking with this wig just a little bit here and there but I definitely like the way it came pre-plucked and as far as the fade on the ombre it's not too harsh so I definitely like that as well it's not like that pow the black is here boom the ombre is there like it's nice and faded so to really make this more like her skin tone I'm just going to take a pressed powder that I use when I do my makeup and then just a little small brush and just work that into the parting space to keep the powder from being so harsh I like to go on top of that with the freeze spray again and proceed to kind of just mesh everything together because I feel like it just I don't know it's something about the powder and then when you spray it it really just melts it into the hair just lightly brushing through the hair with a demon brush I think I ran to go and grab something, but I left the camera going, but I left this clip in also because I like the way the parting space looked and I wanted you all to really see the edges. So after that, I just take my new me flat iron and I'm just going to go ahead and flatten out that side swap bang portion even more and really just define the parting uh, towards the back portion where the frontal ends just to make sure it's not like lumpy in that area. And then after that, I just take large sections and I kind of do the chasing method just to bump the ends of the hair. To remove any of the excess free spray and got to be glue gel I'm just going to take a damp cloth and just wipe along the areas where it kind of dried and had that little shiny residue we don't want that okay took, they got it for 30, 30 some dollars for two day admission hey, and you get free drinks for both of them days <laughs> I mean I mean <laughs> All right, let's let you look at it. Here you go. Oh my I want to undo that part. I need to invest in a. Uh, that's not girl, good. that's my hair. What lace front, girl? <laughs> this mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we finished just in time. The camera about to die. All right, guys. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I used to say to myself, I ain't never gonna want a lace front. Them girls hair be looking jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first time wearing one. When you put the other one on for the first time, mm -hmm. I had never worn one. They be having it, the lace on mm. and be looking all ugly and stuff. Cool. Mm. Yeah, this you came a long way. I remember when So this is the finished look of my cousin's hair. Let me know what you all think about her hair and this transformation down below. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as my cousin is loving her bob hairstyle. It's picking up blonde in this portion, but it's actually a brown bob. I think it's just the lighting and everything that kind of does that. But yeah, I will have all of the details and the coupon code for you all down below. The code is not an affiliation code. I don't get money from it. So just a little disclaimer because I think that kind of stops people from 
using codes. So yes, yeah, I don't get anything, girl. It's just for y'all, okay? <laughs> so yeah, questions and comments, leave all of that down below. Again, special thank you to Premier Lace Wigs for sponsoring this video. And if you all like hair transformations, I'll link more hair transformation videos in my description box down below. Questions and comments, leave all of that down below. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. Oh, made it to the end of the voiceover. What, what? Got it going on. <laughs>